In uh, this tutorial we will look at building an uh, ETL template whose structure can be copied to uh, loading any anchor in the model. So what I'm going to be using is the same source data that we've been using before. So we have the situation where we have four new items here that we haven't seen before in the data warehouse. So we need to insert information for all of these and for one of the already known dishes we have a new price that we haven't seen before so we need to take care of that one as well uh, so let's move back here um, what I'm working with here is integration uh, services and here I have the source table uh, I add metadata in this task then I split the data stream into the known entities and the unknown entities for those entities that are unknown, I need to insert uh, all the information into all the different attributes. So um, here I split the stream into the different, um, in order to insert them into the attribute tables. I also need to remove duplicates here because in uh, into the dish name attribute, I only want to insert uh, unique names. Uh, here I insert the data into a knotted attribute and to do so I need to look up the knot ID before doing that. Uh, here you can see that I also for the historized attributes I need to remove duplicates but not only on the identity but also on the historization date before inserting into the historized price table. For the known entities I only need to care for the historized attributes because the static ones should uh, of course uh, keep their values. So here I uh, look up uh, uh, if there's already some existing um, rows that match those that I have here. Uh, so uh, I only insert those that do not match into the price table. Uh, so let us run this and see how it, how it works. So um, as you can see I had eight rows to begin with and there were four unknown and four known. The unknown rows, uh, after removing the duplicates here, I got three rows. That's because we only the bruschetta here uh, occurred twice. Um, so uh, three names go into the attribute table there and three types as well. Uh, but four rows into the price table. Uh, as for this one, uh, for the known entities, there was just one uh, row that we hadn't seen before and that one uh, was the one with the new price for uh, Rigatoni al Pollo. So if we move back here now and look at what, uh, what we can find uh, in the data warehouse, uh, you can see using the latest view here that um, uh, for Rigatoni al Pollo we do actually have the new price and instead of seeing just two dishes here we see five dishes. Mm -hmm.